everyone, my name is Chris Moore, and in today's video, yeah, that's right, boys, we're at the racetrack, Maryland International Raceway for Hail Mary Derby. Hail Mary Derby, for one, if you don't know what it is, you need to go check out my part one video that uh, we put out Saturday. So, Saturday's video was Thursday and Friday's performance. Today, we're gonna be doing Saturday and tomorrow, you know what that day is? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So anyway, we're gonna save it for tomorrow. But anyways, today's Saturday, we are getting the bike all prepped up this morning, putting clutches in it right now, making some final adjustments. We're gonna change the sprocket, change the gear ratio. For those of you who watched the video before, you saw we had major wheelie problems in the last video. So we're hopefully gonna fix that today. And hopefully in this video is when we go fast, boys. We're going for 620s, fingers crossed. Hopefully we can get it. Let's see what happens. Stay with us, guys. We're about to make a pass in three, two, one. Good morning, guys. Here we go. Go, baby me and Jeremy battling out again this is first thing Saturday morning it's early like 10 a.m. we about to shake and bake early boys Got a new setup this morning. Let's see what happens. New gear ratio, new clutch setup. Boy, she left good too, guys. Man, can't believe we blowed that pass. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it was a good one too. Here we go, pass two. Man, you ain't gonna believe this shit. The last pass wouldn't shift gears. The little set screw on the air shifter pressure regulator vibrated out. And basically the air shifter had no air pressure in it. I'm like, man, you got to be kidding me. How can we possibly have worse luck? So this bike has a automatic transmission. It still shifts gears, but it doesn't have keel, meaning it never unloads. So, hold on, I'll be back. All right, so the transmission never unloads when it shifts. So it kind of sort of rides in two gears at one time. They say we're straight. Well, whenever they don't shift, it, it bends the shift forks because it unloads the transmission. And we may have, if it don't shift this time, we gotta pull the motor. I'm like, damn it, man. Here we go, JT, another lane. Shifted. 
flying slow and that's where he killed us at but you're shipping all the gear so hey i'm happy with that i'll take it if we can just keep racing without pulling a motor that's fantastic did shift gears that time after we had the talk about the transmission how i explained all that it works so if it works again cool if it don't work i wouldn't be surprised i, I don't know fingers crossed all the way because we do not want to be pulling this motor sometimes you it is forgiving and you can get to pull it out or you know you get lucky um but anyways we'll see what happens we went 642 we didn't have a whole, whole lot in it. In the middle, it went a 425 at 180 miles an hour. So we're gonna come back. We're gonna give it some more 60 foot, cause that's where we're lacking. We only went a 114, JT went a 111. He beat us to the finish line that bad. He went a 634. So the race of the 20s is on. We gotta turn this thing up. B said he's gonna let her eat this pass. Just so you know, when I clicked from fourth to fifth gear, so basically the fifth gear shift, it was running 207 miles per hour. It pulled a three inch power wheelie, really, boys. guys here we go this is still saturday this is pass number three i think we got the bugs ironed out let's see what happens i believe this is going to be a good pass boys we're lined up beside jt again we got him the first pass he got us the second one hopefully me and mamba can pull it off Time to shake and bake, baby, shake and bake. Feel like the conditions are about perfect. Feels really nice outside. Weather is great. this one to be fast oh yeah she's sounding good she's sounding good come on baby shake him back Yes! 
happened to him, he might have spun or wheelied or something, but we were long gone. Woo! It was definitely a 30 something. I don't know if it was that all elusive 29 we've been chasing, but that was definitely a good pass. Whew, fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully, it went fast. You guys want to learn how to ride like that? I just so happen to have what you need. December 4th, Palm Beach International Raceway in Palm Beach, Florida. We are having the Moore Mafia Drag Race School. We have just a few spots left. Only 15 spots are available. Only a few are left. Go on moremafia.com to sign up now. We teach everything from the most basic to the most advanced every steps you need to learn how to drag race and eventually learn how to ride like that i may not have you coming out of there that day looking like that but hey we're going to get you started in the right direction yeah baby Woo! Bike on the yeah. yeah what fastest bike on the planet earth two 133 miles per hour. 233, boys. God almighty. Woo. Mamba coming through in the clutch. There he is right there, boys. World's fastest motorcycle owner. That's him. World's fastest pilot. World's fastest tuner. He's coming soon. BJ, he's still making the wall back. Oh, my God. Woo. All right, boys, here we go. It's gonna be the last pass of the night. We went 233 miles an hour, boys. New personal best. Well, actually, new fastest ever for mile per hour of any no bar motorcycle, period. New personal best for us on the ET. We went a uh, 635. The fastest pass ever was a 634. And he's sitting right beside me right now, boys. Here we go. We about to do it again. Okay, boy, the track is sticky. I'm like stuck to the track. All right, baby, all eyes on me. Shake and bake, baby. JT might have went 20s though, he was fast. He was definitely in front of me. Man! Dude, I think you had to have went 20s. I can't see nothing. I think I might have, I might have went that 230. If we leave going through the finish line. Oh my goodness.
10 a.m. on the money. We are about to let her eat. BJ said he's got her turned up and turned up good in the front half. So let's see what happens. JT again. I don't know what our win loss record is back and forth all weekend, but I think we're pretty close to even. He might be one up on me. straight cross your fingers boys first ever side-by-side -side 630 last night Let's see what we can do today No clutch this time either. Good morning, boys. You know what day it is. You've been waiting on it. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So we just made the first pass in Pro Street. I didn't do the intro video to Sunday because it's 10 a.m., dude. We went 2.33 yesterday, so we had a party last night, and uh, I wasn't <laughs> feeling up to it. So anyways, we just made the first pass, and we completely annihilated the clutch. So the clutch in these bikes is very, very, very sensitive. Uh, they're centrifugal and there's weight on it. There's static springs. There's uh, arms that fling out with the centrifugal force. There's a lot of stuff going on in the clutch of these bikes and they're on the edge in order to go fast. Well, that pass, something just wasn't quite right with the clutch and it annihilated the clutches. Let me show you the clutch plates. Uh, I mean, literally just totally destroyed. <laughs> These are welded together. One solid clutch. That's how hot it got. So that shows you the stress and the heat that these engines go through in order to do this. So this engine was brand spanking new uh, when we put it in the bike this weekend. By the end of the weekend, she's gonna have her tongue hanging out. Uh, and what I mean by that is it's gonna be time for a freshen up already. I mean, and that's just normal life with one of these bikes, but man, the work that goes into these things, the money that goes into these, so like that clutch kit right there, 150 bucks for that pass. And uh, now we gotta change the oil. We gotta figure $15 a quart oil. So it's more than that. You know, there's just so much stuff that goes into it. The clutches were so bad. Oil's gotta be changed. Everything's gotta be done. Damien, the owner of the bike, he's working on it now. We're getting it dialed in. We, we, we think we might've found a sauce to maybe get that 29, guys. All right, boys, we're back. This may or may not be the last pass. We'll see how we do. Sunday afternoon. We made a lot of passes this weekend. We had a lot of fun. We did really good. We are officially the world's fastest snowball motorcycle, boys. I can't believe it. Little Mamba. Put together in nine days originally. 
if you guys haven't seen that video or if you're new to the channel scroll back through and check that out you see where we actually built this thing nine days we're lined up beside JT once again Could this be the 629? Could this be it, boys? All right, they say we're clear. Let's see what happens. Shake and bake, baby. like 60 footed good enough to go the magic number but it, it definitely made a good solid pass we'll see what happens Chris Moore, the Moore Mafia, 635, the fastest no bar bike in the world, 233.36 miles per hour. How about James Herbert? Can he set a personal best? One twenty-five short, one hundred nine short for more. Top end, corner mile, six thirty with a zero, two hundred twenty-three miles an hour, and he takes the record from Teasley. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the more mafia. Six thirty with a zero. Oh my goodness. The fastest and the quickest. What just happened? 630 flat, 233, 64. The world's quickest and fastest motherfucker. Woo! Drop the mic. Yo, how close was he? 3000. Oh my god! Yo, pick up both records. Just oh, yo, three. hold that for the rest of the winter. <laughs> Whoa! Damn. Uh, 418. 418. 416. Oh my god, I'm fucking blind. I can't see. You can see. Woo! Holy shit. 416. Yo, 280. Beach called that too. Beach called that. 280. He ain't ready for this ticket. 
I want to see more numbers. I want to see more numbers. I know. Boys, we did it. We did it. We did it. Six, three, zero with a zero. The world's quickest and fastest motorcycle with no wheelie bars on planet Earth. So anyway, let me go over this time slip. Let me find the time slip. Let me find it. Let me find it. I don't know where it's at. We gotta find this thing. Six three zero with a zero. One oh nine sixty foot two eighty flat three thirty four sixteen in the eighth one eighty two six three zero zero at two thirty three sixty four. Mic drop, boys! I told you when we came here. <laughs> Woo! I mean, I, man, what a weekend! What a weekend! Big thanks to the whole crew: Brian, Damian, bike owner, <laughs> Pablo, Ralphie, BJ, the mastermind. He said he had some more sauce left. When he said he had it, he put it in there. Boom! We've been struggling all weekend in the front half. We had the mile an hour, we got the horsepower. SRW Precision Race Engines from Connecticut. Oh my God, they have provided us with a killer motor. Dunlop tires, they never been tested till 2.30 this weekend. But man, that thing held up and flew every pass. Wow, what a weekend guys, be sure if this video don't make you subscribe to my channel, you might as well sign off YouTube and never get back on. There ain't no channel like this for motorcycle drag racing. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Big thank you for everybody watching. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Check us out. MoreMafia.com. Hat, shirt, stickers, whatever you need. We got it. Hit us up. MoreMafia.com. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.